and welcome to the Creatives Get Real podcast. I'm Robin Marie Smith. And I'm Sandy Keene. And these are real conversations about the creative life. Hey, Robin. Hey, dear. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing well. Absolutely. Cool. Okay. Let's talk about flat lay photography. Mm. We've mm-hmm. mentioned it before mm-hmm. and um, we've gotten some questions on it that we want to answer. And we want to start off with what is flat lay <laughs> photography? What? I know. What is it? Uh, you know, there was a time when I, what, what does that mean? Exactly? I didn't know what it meant for yeah. a while too. Yeah. Think of it as, um, I think of it as a, it's a styled shot. Generally mm-hmm. it's overhead. Yep. You're looking at it from that vantage point from top down and mm-hmm. it's a styled shot where generally you'll have props and things added into it. Um, say you have your art journal and then maybe you have your pencils, maybe a little plan a cup of coffee. It's sort of that, you know, stylized shoot or, you know, photo. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. And these are becoming like the gold standard in social mm-hmm. media. Yeah. Um, I've noticed that my usual photography, which is, you know, just my art is not the style anymore. The mm-hmm. flat lay really is, you know, what everyone is doing. Mm-hmm. So if you too are like me and looking at things going, hmm, it's time for me to up my game a bit. <laughs> We're going to uh-huh. help. We're going to talk about this. Yeah. Yeah. So first, uh, what, what do you use to do the photography on? Like, you know, what, mm-hmm. what do you shoot on? You know, do you lay it out on your carpet and put a nice little, you know, throw down? You could. Um, mm-hmm. When I started doing them, I decided I wanted something that looked like faux wood planks. Okay. And so I bought rolls of paper. It, you, they're actually used for photographers where they can be rolled up to where they can be used as a backdrop. Like right. if you wanted to use it almost like a wall, I just cut pieces and mounted them to um, poster board or not poster board, foam core board. Mm-hmm. And now I can just move it around to wherever I need. To where the light, the light is. is. Exactly where the light is good. And then I've got this nice little backdrop that I can, you know, have at the bottom. And you can, there's all kinds of different things that you can get to, you know, to use for that. You can use a plain white canvas. Um, I have a really big one that's just white that I I use. Yep. So there's a couple. You can use poster board and put that on top of something. Mm -hmm. Um, I have white tables. You can Mm -hmm. use a white table surface. Yep. Um, Go ahead. I was going to say, I always have to remember that I also have animals. I have dogs. Oh, yeah. So I have to like wipe it down because (laughs) every time I take a picture, like, Look at the oh. dog hair right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, think of your furniture. My, my dining room table is wood and it's, um, it's got a nice surface that I can mm-hmm. do some photography on. And, but it's not just limited to that. You could do a flat lay in your grass. I mean, it could be in your yard. Right. It could be, you know, maybe you have a, a picnic table or a patio or something. Just get really creative with it and kind of play around and see what you think and do a variety of different things. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, what works with your feed, what works with your style, if your style is very earthy, you know, maybe adding twigs and leaves and sticks and things like that really make it look cool. So you can be really creative with it. So you would, you would actually, if you have a brand, if you are an artist and you have a brand, you would think about that. What colors are in your brand? Would you want those, you know, it'd be nice if they were represented Mm -hmm. in your, your flat lay. Or right. like you said, your style, that, that's really mm-hmm. cool too. So oh, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, and you don't have to even go that, you know, beyond, you don't have to go quite that, uh, even on your art table. If you have your, your art piece or your journal, you could just lay down some pieces of your, the pencils and the chalks and maybe a, a little bit of your paint palette, your watercolor mm-hmm. palette. It can just be a little bit of that just sort of in the shot still looks very interesting. Right. Um, so, and not every shot has to be a flat lay, but right. it's really nice to see it where it's kind of sprinkled all through your feed where you've got these. Plus it, I'm always curious. It, it allows me to be able to see, Oh, they're using that. I like that. Or what is that? And then people ask you questions. So then you're mm-hmm. getting engagement right. on your social because they're going, Hey, what is that? that you know, what is that, that you're using there? What's that pink thing? Where'd you get yes. that? Yes. It happens, happens all the time. All the time. What kind of pen is that? What kind of pencil is that? What, <laughs> exactly. what I saw you. It's amazing to me the things that people notice. Like if you're not 
you know, style, you're like, okay, I wanted it like this. And you're kind of pushing things out of the way in your desk, but you catch the corner of something and you don't even see it. Mm -hmm. Someone will see it and say, Hey, what, you know, what is that? Where can you link me to it? It's I know. Amazing. And you're like, what are they talking about? And then you have to go back and look at the picture and go, Oh, I didn't even really, yeah. I didn't even see that you could see the corner <laughs> exactly. of that. Turn. Okay. Yeah. It's, it, it's too bad. You can't, they can't do something like say with Instagram where you can like maybe move your finger or scroll around the photo and then a little thing pops up and it says, this is this, this is this. I know they have those shopping ones where yes. you can tag everything, but I mean, that's a whole other complicated thing and you have to qualify and all that, but just something really cool where it's sort of interactive. Oh, there's, oh, that's the chapstick. Yeah, I see that. Oh, and that's the, yeah. So yeah, which is really in my shots. Exactly. And yes. Yeah, for sure. Yes. So let's talk about, let's say that people wanted to start out at the very basics of flat leg. Mm -hmm. So what would we recommend to our just starting, have no idea how to do this, but I, but I want to do it. It looks cool. Mm -hmm. So what do we recommend? Well, uh, I would say don't order paper and don't worry about that. If you've got a nice floor in your house, like if you've mm -hmm. got tile or, you know, wood, you can just plop those things down on the floor. I mean, I've right. done that in, on my floor as well for a backdrop. Um, if you want to keep it super simple, just use a white clean surface. Just yep. you know, clean off your table, put a, like you said, a piece of poster board down and white is very clean and will uh, reflect light and you'll have the colors of whatever you're photographing will be really vibrant. So that's an easy way to start. Don't go buy right. anything. Just, you know, use your, ta your table, your desk, or some, maybe a floor or something that you have. It looks right. nice. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what things that you could pull into the photo. Mm -hmm. So we talked about your supplies. Yeah. So you might, um, pen, everybody uses and are used to seeing pens, pencils, paint brushes, because they're, they're so indicative of our art, you know, right. everyone has them. So mm -hmm. those are great. Um, you can also look at your piece and if there's a main focal color, mm -hmm. what do you have in your art studio that's the same color? Maybe that's it's right. the cube, it's mm -hmm. the crayon, it's the whatever that's that color. Yep. Pull that in. Yes. What other things can you think of? I think um, you can pick these up at just about any little stores like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. You can get little tiny plants that are maybe a little succulent or something, and you can just kind of tuck that over into the top of the photo or somewhere near that. Um, those always kind of look nice because it, it kind of makes it look like a desk or a table, you know, where mm -hmm. it, it just has a more homey feel to it. Right. Um, you can do a teacup where you've got some tea in it. Maybe it's a real pretty florally teacup you got at anthropology or something, and you can put that in there. Um, mm -hmm. It all depends. I mean, we're not in the business of, you know, makeup artists. We wouldn't put makeup brushes and things, but we right. can do art brushes or, but I, I would think um, also I like to sometimes put pretty little notebooks that I have that have beautiful covers or whatever. And maybe it's stacked with my journal or it's over to the side and my pencil. You can even, you know, have, um, I'm trying to think of uh, some other little things like maybe a little pouch that you have and maybe mm -hmm. the pen's coming out of the pouch and it's sort of sitting up at the top, your watercolor palette, things like that. Um, yeah. Always or go up, go outside in the yard and clip, you know, a limb, a branch, yep, um, pretty leaves. If you've got flowers in bloom, or you have some from the grocery store, a flower that looks pretty. Pull in your potted plant. Absolutely, anything live looks really cool mm -hmm. in in the photo. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say you've done that for a while, and you're you're like, okay, I got this. Now I want to step it up a little more. Like I want to get a little more pro at this. Mm -hmm. Then what would we, would we recommend? Um, I would probably start looking at the possibility of some backgrounds, like some surfaces rather we'll call them. And there's even companies out there that sell surfaces that are designed mm -hmm. for specifically for, cause a lot of your um, your food artists, I say food artists cause I think art is you know, food in, cooking and all of that is an art, but where they do these amazing flat lays of their foods and their preparation. And there's some beautiful, um, surfaces that, that can be used for that. So mm -hmm. maybe it's changing up your surface mm -hmm. and maybe getting a piece of foam core board and covering it with some, a, a decorative paper that it could be a brick wall. It could be, 
Marble. Uh, marble, exactly. It can be anything that kind of fits with your brand and your style and then experiment with that as well. Yeah. And I think too, um, you can really get creative with lighting. So you may just have, you know, basic light, just top down. But what if you did it where you had some shadows where maybe you had the light later in the day and it filters through a window and you've got this beautiful light that comes in and it now kind of focuses on one area of your mm -hmm. flat lay or maybe your journal page that you're trying to make stand out a little bit more. So the lighting can really start tweaking and changing that. That's a lot more advanced, but if you wanted to up your game more, you could absolutely do that. Mm -hmm. Right. And the other thing you can do, what I've seen and I think is really cool and I've started doing myself is I've started shopping my house and um, things like a Home Goods or a TJ Maxx or Michael's where you, you know, you have a pretty bowl or you have a little bud vase or, um, you know, those kind of little home decor crystals. I know a lot of people like rocks and crystals, mm -hmm. those kind of things that you can just pull into the photo. So you have maybe a little, a shoe box that you fill with a few things that you can pull in, um, pretty clips. Yeah, um, absolutely. I'm in for any kind of stationary item, mm -hmm. you, you know, I'm there. <laughs> pins, rubber bands, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's kind of cool. If you've gotten a new something, some kind of an office supply that's new or that's cool. The other thing that I like to do too. And, and when you said clips, it reminded me of this because I did a tutorial on um, taking these, they were kind of a, it was a black flat clip and then I used art to decorate the clip. And so sometimes I'll have those sitting kind of to the side where it's art as well, but mm -hmm. it's a functional piece of art. You know, it's a clip. And um, so those are kind of fun is maybe other things that you've created that are sort of not the main focus of the flat lay, but they're sort of in the picture as well. It enhances right. it. Right. Yeah. Um, I do recommend that you, as you suggested, you know, kind of um, freshen up your stash of things that you use so you're not always using the same thing. You want to mm -hmm. kind of rotate things out and, and it's okay to use things more than once, but maybe you just don't post it every week the same thing, you know, kind of mm -hmm. mix it around and. Um, yeah, I think that's, and I love bowls too, because from top down, you've got these, you know, you've got those pretty shapes of the bowls and then you've got whatever's inside and yeah, that's right. really cool. Yeah. That's yeah, a great and sometimes you can get part of the outside pattern mm -hmm. and that's put right. stuff in the bowl. Yeah. That's really pretty. Oh yeah. And then I think we should talk a little bit about sometimes you want to take photos where there's tons of white space negative space right in your photograph where your art is down in the corner and you have lots of white space and what that does is it allows you to put words to put text on top right. of your photo so if you need something you want to have a beautiful quote you want to put um, in your feed or if you need graphics for a tutorial or something you're putting online it's really nice to have those photos that are tons of white space so think and about that and it, it, it's great for that or just leave it as it is. And there's such an impact to having all that white space around just whatever it is you're for, you know, photographing, you know, rather than having it in the center, have it down in the bottom right corner, or maybe it's the top left or something where your eye is just really drawn to that one spot and can mm -hmm. really see, wow, that's whoa. Cause that's all your eye is going to is that. So right. that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, it's a good thing if you aren't familiar with the rule of thirds in photography and composition, um, just Google it and see, you know, learn about those intersecting lines mm -hmm. and how you can actually turn that grid on your camera. Yeah. So it will help you line up things in those, those four really interesting spots in a composition. Yep. Absolutely. And we've mentioned this before when you're going through your Instagram feed and you see something, you see a flat lay and you're like, I really like the whatever about that. Save it to your saved and then mm -hmm. make a category collection. of flat lays, mm -hmm. make a collection out of that. And then that way you can go back to it and remember, Oh yeah. I remember I saw they used, uh, I remember, um, I'm, I'm, you know, the rabbits, I'm chasing the rabbit here, but it just came to mind. When I, I remember there was a time I was, I was at Susan's in California and we were, I was kind of experimenting at the time with doing these and I was uh, working with the colors orange and green. I was trying to do flat lays of colors, like all pink pencils and paints, sm smudges and pastels. They were all art supplies that were that same color theme. 
and mm-hmm. the orange really looked pretty and I had some green mixed in and they had some fresh oranges um, with the leaves still on them. And so I brought those into it and it was amazing how cool it looked. I bet. But the fruit didn't have anything to do with the art supplies, but the coloring just played right on into it. So you may not remember something that you saw. So save them, you know, to your collections mm-hmm. and you can go back and relook at them. It's like a Pinterest board only in your right. Instagram feed. You can do the same with Pinterest too, but you see a lot of the flat lays on Instagram, probably more than you do on Pinterest. So yeah. yeah. Well, when you said rabbit, that made me think of one of my favorite things that oh. I pull into flat lays is um, it's a little ceramic rabbit. And what it is, is a chopstick holder. Yes, I <laughs> have I it. I use for a brush holder. I know. And I love it. Thank you for mine. <laughs> You're very welcome. It is adorable because it's small and it doesn't take up a lot of room. And it, it does make the brush look a little bit more interesting when it's in the photographs. Yeah. It does. Uh-huh. I love that. I saw um, a Filipino artist was using all these just stunningly beautiful little ceramic things and I looked in you know in her comments and realized oh they're they're chopstick holders mm-hmm. and so I I got on Amazon chopstick holders there you go and see we mentioned that earlier somebody's going to see something in one of your photos and be like uh what is that exactly and then you start a conversation so right there you go great yeah. example what's that cute little bunny <laughs> chopstick holder yeah what is that thing <laughs> it's cute I like it I want one yeah, so we want to um, encourage people to try flat lays, and we would love to be tagged so we can come and say, mm-hmm. hey, cool, by the way, what is that? <laughs> what is that thing there? Can you yeah, link yeah. me to it? <laughs> Almost like a Where's Waldo. Everybody's going to be doing it now. Let's put this little thing in the photograph and see if anybody notices what it is. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, but they are okay. fun to do, and it's really um, a, a nice way, I think, for you to get creative and kind of just stretch your abilities and your skills a little bit in really seeing what looks good. How do I position these things together? What does this look like if, and while you're doing that, you're doing a flat lay from top down, take angled shots that you can Mm -hmm. use later in your, in your feed or for other things. Don't just take the top down shots, do those really cool angled shots and get low and just get on certain spots of it. And you'll be amazed at all the amazing, you know, beautiful photos that you'll get from it. Yeah. Lean, lean your piece against something else, you know, yep. do it, that, do all kinds of different angles. I'm, you know, I'm finally doing that. It's like, oh gosh, it's taken me forever, but I'm finally <laughs> thinking, okay, this is not one photo. That's right. Well, I can take 15 photos, mm-hmm. just change things slightly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And your skills will get better and better. And you'll have a much better eye and it will just, it'll, it'll, you'll just keep growing that skill. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's important. Uh, it is. And fun. And fun too, yes. Yes. All right, cool. All righty. Until next time, we thank you guys. Yes, happy flat lays. (laughs) Is that like Monday, Tuesday? (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for listening to this episode of Creatives Get Real. We love hearing from you. So hop on over to Instagram and leave us a comment. And we also appreciate reviews on iTunes. And you can find me, Sandy Keen, at sandykeen.com and my classes at popupartclasses.com. And you can find me, Robin Marie Smith, at robinmarie.com. And if you're looking for and need tech support, check out my membership site, makerstechu.com.